All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to uh, repair a catfish rig when you have just like broke the hook off. Uh, most folks I see snail their uh, hooks onto a leader line and then tie their leader line up here, but uh, I'm kind of a lazier fisherman than most, and if I've still got that much leader line net left, I'm gonna try to repair it rather than just cut that off and use it. There's a lot left here, so I'm gonna show you a reverse snail knot that I like to use. Um, every actually whether it's whether I'm tying rigs or not this is how I tie my my snail knots first thing we're gonna do is get us four or five inches of tag line right here and then we're gonna put it through the inside of the hook and we'll leave four you know four or five cents inches out and then we're gonna take and double it stick it in your finger and double it over and then we're gonna kind of pull it essentially that's all it is a little loop and we'll hold it and now we're going to run this tag in through like five times. I've tied leaders uh, so many times on shorter lines that I've only had to tie three on, and three still do, does it. But I like five or six loops in it. And then I'll just hold this tag line with the finger here and then pull it. And then I got it like that. So, And then you can... Uh, Shorten your tag in a little bit with a knife, or if you're like me, I use my teeth. But that's how I repair a rig, uh, put a snail knot on a uh, leader line, and now I've still got a, a, a good rig left. And now my rig's back to, back to ready to use. I'm not a big fan of tackle, and, and uh, I want the simplest thing I can do, and this is kind of, kind of where I'm at, but it's just a simple reverse snail knot to repair your broken lines on your catfish rigs. This this particular rig right here happens to be like my dragon rig and you can actually suspend drift with this too. There's nothing that says you can't suspend drift with. I've suspended with Kentucky rigs, I've suspended with uh, dragon rigs and the most popular one I like to suspend with uh, is a Carolina rig with the, uh, the flat bank sinkers. Uh, but we're just kind of free drifting the Ohio River today. Um, We've got a mess of Asian carp invading the, the surface right now, so I don't know uh, if we'll have any luck with the catfish or not. But we're out here putting our time in. Hopefully we'll catch something. Thinks he's big, don't he? Oh, look at this fool. He's crazy. Oh. Well, I like to have this one right here when he's about 60, 70 pounds. He's feisty. He just ain't giving up. Oh. Come here, young fella. Who oh, you are? Alright guys, you've probably been seeing me lip catfish like this for years. And I'm going to tell you, I'm probably going to jinx myself right now. And I've been fortunate not to have an 8 dot hook through my thumb or something somewhere. But one thing I will let you know, when you do, if you do do this like this, always put pressure on that bottom lip. Like right up in there. 
and you pull that lip down and he's kind of done. He can't do a whole lot. He might flip around or something, but now you let go of him and he's going to chomp down and, but you keep it like that and uh, you can kind of keep him under control. But if you're going to do it, keep pressure on that lip either way. If it's a big one, same thing. You keep that pressure on that lip and uh, they're somewhat controlled. All right another piece of bait on that little fish right there he was feisty yeah I like to see a big one fight like that all with the boat that was fun. I thought he was a little bitty one until he got up there, and he's still kind of small for me, but um, he had a good little fight on him. But that's fishing, guys. You cannot demand big fish get on your line. You, you fish amongst the fish, and uh, you're going to catch what you catch. Now, it's better to put your your bait's in a great situation where a big fish like to hang. But I've seen them all run together. You got a big fish, you got little fish, they're all intermingled. Unless you're a flathead, and then I think it's a little different different type of territory. But these blue catfish, they're on the move all the time. can be all in them, but they don't bite sometimes. You can't make them bite. Another dink, and he this time is a dink for sure. Oh, yeah, get that bottom jaw there, stretch it open whether he wants it or not, and uh, he pretty much ain't gonna move. Just imagine he's about 40 or 50 pounds. He will be one one day. He'll be there one day. 